This was the dua of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And then from the blessed lap of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he went into a home which instilled in him piety and bravery. And this is why Asma radiallahu anha mentioned when all other children would ask to play with toys, Abdullah would ask for a sword. He would ask to play with a sword. And this doesn't mean that these were bloodthirsty people. No, the only time they lifted their sword was to alleviate oppression and to restore injustice, to restore justice. This was the only time. If you look into their lives, these were humble people. They never professed to be Rambos or Terminators, nor did their weapons have upon them. Born to kill. On the contrary, if you look, on the sword of the Prophet Ali radiallahu mentioned that I saw a note upon the sword of the Prophet and what this note had, it had these words. It said, Sul man It said, Great ties with those who break ties And speak the truth, even if it goes against yourself. And be good to those who are bad to you. This was the teaching that these people were brought up on. They were brought up on truth. The, the weapons didn't have born to kill. They didn't profess to be Rambos or Terminators. The only time they lifted their sword was for the sake of the truth. And this is why the Sahaba radiallahu anhu mentioned that there were three things regarding Abdullah ibn Zubair that nobody contested. One was his worship. The second was his eloquence. And the third was his bravery. And such was his bravery that even the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa bore witness to the bravery of Abdullah ibn Zubair radiallahu anhu. At one occasion, the Sahaba radiallahu anhu, they amassed all their children for them to be blessed by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa And the children were all shy to go advance with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and the first child who advanced to the Prophet ﷺ was Abdullah. And the Prophet ﷺ said, wa ib, wa ibn Abihi. He is the son of his father. Like his father is a man, he's a man. Like his father is brave, he is brave. And really, you contrast that to our children today. You contrast that to our children today. They're scared of everything. They're scared of their own shadows. Because this is what the parents instill in them. When they can't look after their children, what do they do? They scare them of the doorbell. They scare them of the cat. They scare them of the dog. They scare them of the beast man. And the ultimate terror, the terror which makes Freddy Krueger look like a nun, the Molvi. Scare them of the Molvi. Upon occasion, I was walking down Birmingham and there's a woman who couldn't look after a child. And she said, behave yourself, otherwise I'll tell Molvi sir. And the child froze. Because this is what you instill in your children. And the reality is, when you instill this in your children indirectly, you are instilling in them the fear of those people who represent the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The reality is that that person gave brave gave testimony to the bravery of Abdullah ibn Zubayr, that man from who the Shaddan would run away from. Upon occasion, Umar ibn Khattab anhu was walking. And he was scared as Muslims. <laughs> On occasion, Umar ibn Khattab was walking to the streets of Medina. And he saw a group of children playing. And who was Umar? Umar anhu was that person regarding who the Prophet said, If Umar walks down one path, Shaitan scarpers from that path. He runs away from that path. And Umar anhu was walking and he saw a group of children playing. playing. And when they saw Umar anhu, they all ran besides one. And Umar anhu came to this child and he said, All your friends have run away. Why did you run away? And he said, Because. I have done those, nothing wrong that I should run away. And nor is the path so narrow that you can't get past. And Umar radiallahu anhu, he turned to the child and he said, Who are you? And he said, I'm Abdullah, the son of Zubair radiallahu anhu. Really, this was a man who they bought test the Prophet sallallahu and Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu bought testimony to his bravery. But it wasn't just bravery. He had immense strength. And the reason the ulama mentioned for his strength was something that me and you will regard as gross. Because we did not sit at the feet of the Prophet ﷺ. We did not have the love for the Prophet ﷺ like these people had for the Prophet ﷺ. Upon occasion, the Prophet ﷺ said to Abdullah, he had some cupping done, some blood extracted. And he said, Abdullah, dispose of this in a place where nobody will find it. And he, when Abdullah came back, the Prophet ﷺ said, did you dispose it of 
Prophet in a place where nobody would find it. And he said, yes, O Messenger of Allah. And the Prophet said, what did you do with it? And he said, I drank it. I drank it. See, something me and you may regard as gross, but me and you cannot imagine that the love that these people had for the Prophet Really, me and you can never imagine this. And he said, oh, Messenger of Allah, I drank it. So my iman and my knowledge increases. And so that I have a portion of your body in my body. And my body is more befitting than the earth that it takes your blood. And the Prophet said, Oh Abdullah, glad tidings unto you, for the fire of Jahannam cannot touch that body which has my blood running through. And the impact that this blood had upon his physique, it had immense impact upon his physique. He didn't use horse growth, horse growth hormones. So his biceps get better, bigger. No, the impact that this had upon his body. Abu Malaika was asked upon occasion from uh, Umar ibn Abdul Aziz rahmatullah upon occasion asked Abu Malaika, he said, describe Abdullah bin Zubayr to me. And he said, I swear by Allah, I have never seen a man whose skin sat upon his flesh, like the skin of Abdullah bin Zubayr sat upon his flesh. And I have never seen a man whose flesh sat upon his muscles, like Abdullah bin Zubayr's flesh sat upon his muscles. And I have never seen a man whose muscles sat upon his bones, like the, like the muscles of Abdullah bin Zubayr sat upon his bones. This was the barakah of the blood of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And you know how old Abdullah ibn Zubayr radiallahu was when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam passed away. He was only 10 years old. And that means that he had drank the blood of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam before the age of 10. You can imagine from this how much love that these people had for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.